So I grew up in Indiana, a suburb of Indianapolis. When I went to NASA's space camp as a kid, that was very influential in getting me thinking about science. I didn't know what a PhD was as a kid, but as I got more serious about science in high school and college, I got excited about scientific research and sort of the potential to have an impact on a lot of people. So I attended University of Notre Dame. Sort of halfway through college, I started to learn about computer science, and especially this intersection of biology and computer science. So that was really when bioinformatics, I think, was starting to flourish. There were a couple of professors there at Notre Dame that were working in this intersection. But one in particular was Frank Collins, who was working on the sequencing of the mosquito genome that transmits malaria. There wasn't a lot of um, computer science expertise working on this project at the time. So that was my contribution, or really my entrance into the field of bioinformatics. So that hooked me really for the rest of my career. I, I knew that was what I wanted to do. So I attended the biomedical informatics training program at the Stanford University School of Medicine. I was considering an academic career. I wasn't set on it, but it seemed like that was one possible path. And if I was gonna go into industry, a PhD was pretty clearly gonna be valuable for any kind of industrial biotechnology position. As I was doing my PhD at Stanford, I got to know more and more people pursuing entrepreneurial paths. The Graduate School of Business would offer classes to PhD students to learn about starting a company. <laughs> so I took one of these classes. It was a month-long summer course. After I graduated from Stanford, I stayed as a postdoc for a couple years, learning about uh, discovery and engineering of natural products. So these are drugs that are discovered from nature, found in microbes and plants around the world. So historically, natural product drugs have been discovered sort of by accident. So I thought, okay, we can, we can improve on this. We can do this in a smarter way, bring computation into this to sort of mix and match these genes, these DNA sequences to make new drugs. And I was blown away by the number of genomes or sequences that were encoding natural drugs that nobody had ever studied. The first breakthrough was how to access the chemicals, so on the experimental side. The second half, on the computational side, was how to prioritize among these millions of, of drugs that were out there, the ones that would have an impact uh, on patients. So those two insights together, from there it was a pretty clear path to commercialization. So Hexagon is a company that is sort of half computational and half experimental. So my bioinformatics training comes into play every single day. Getting a PhD in bioinformatics gives you years of experience of solving problems, designing experiments, designing software, and it will open, I think, a lot of doors downstream in, in a number of different occupations and careers.